in Orlando, five and three in the seeding round, but uh, swept here in the playoffs. When you look back at these 12 games, what jumps out of you, whether it's individual stuff from Karras and Jared or, or something else? Really, it's the resilience of our team. Uh, we talked about we had an extreme uh, resilient, resilience as a group, uh, a competitive nature about us as a group, um, and a sacrifice as a group for the, the men who came. And uh, extremely grateful for this group and the time that we spent together. Uh, like I said, Tom, we're forever linked and uh, I appreciate everyone who stepped on that floor and, uh, and everyone who helped the men step on that floor. Greg? Uh, Karras struggled at times uh, during the series, but he had a big game tonight and didn't get much help. What do you think that he gained out of this whole experience with, with so much of the load on his shoulders? Great test for him, Greg. Uh, I think uh, you saw him become much more verbal uh, on the floor, uh, a better uh, recognition of uh, what needed to be done on the floor on both ends, uh, an accountability level with himself and with his teammates. Uh, so great growth from him. Uh, an experience I hope he deems as worthy. Uh, we definitely appreciated his sacrifice. Brian? Jacques, both uh, you and opponents that you have played have talked about how resilient this group has been so far in the bubble. Um, now that this season is officially over, I mean, just how important is it to you personally that that kind of resilience was apparent to Sean and to the powers that be and that hopefully you'll be around next year? Just how important is that to you? Yeah, Brian, I think uh, you, you always, as a coach, uh, you want to bring out the best in your group and uh, maximize your group. Uh, that was the challenge I had at hand, uh, accepted that challenge. And, and I'm thankful that I got a chance to, to coach these, these men. Um, you know, throughout the course, you could be examined uh, from different eyes. Uh, that's why I think it's so important at this time in my life and my career that I, I, show, I showcase who I am. Um, I hope every man and that woman in that locker room uh, said that I was authentic uh, with them, honest with them, uh, held guys accountable, uh, and that didn't change from day one. Alex? Jacques, kind of piggybacking off of Greg's question. Now, obviously, you know, the first few games of the series, Toronto tried to make Karras more of a distributor than a scorer, and then, then tonight he was able to get the scoring aspect. Just what Surrender or whatever ever Karras was able to do, what, what do you think allowed him to be more offensively active tonight than maybe compared to some of the other games in the series? Yeah, Alex, we really tried to uh, push the pace tonight to not let their defense get set. Uh, it ran a toll on our group overall. The minutes start to add up. You know, when you plan a team uh, as athletic and um, long, uh, it just takes a toll on your, your body uh, physically every game. Uh, but we really tried to get out and transition if not, if it wasn't transition, it was an early offense attack also. So which really got him going downhill. Christian. Hey, coach, uh, just what was your message to the team after after tonight's loss? And, and what was the, the mood in the locker room uh, after everything? Yeah, I told him, Christian, that uh, in times like these, uh, uh, me as an individual, I lean into gratitude and that I was extremely thankful uh, to have the opportunity to coach them to Thankful for our performance group for getting those guys ready to play. Thankful for each and every person in that locker room from whether they made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, whether they got a uniform ready, whether they made a free throw. Uh, that we don't know what's going to exist in the future. And so I hope uh, that they've learned one thing is that you take advantage of the now. Ian Begley. Hey, Jacques, uh, before you guys went down to Orlando, Sean Marks, I think, said that it wouldn't be fair to judge you on wins and losses given the state of the roster. But obviously, next year, the roster we think is going to change. You guys obviously get Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving back. You know, there's uncertainty with the coaching situation, but do you think that you would be a good coach for Durant, Irving, and whatever the team looks like next year? 
What I am confident is my skill set as a coach, my ability to communicate and have relationship with guys, my ability to uh, adjust, adjust on the fly, uh, adjust with uh, individuals, uh, those things I'm very comfortable with. Comfortable at this stage of my career of uh, having voice and choice with my players. Uh, very comfortable at this stage in my career of having truth and transparency with, with management. Very comfortable in my career of having a care and confidence level with my performance staff. Uh, so those things uh, hopefully were showcased. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I'm very comfortable with all of those aspects.